Well, in the kitchen again. It's raining again outside. Today is the first day of summer and it's been rainy and chilly. I made a run to the grocery store and had to come back in to get a sweater because it's so chilly. So I've decided I'm going to make a cake that I've been wanting to try for a while. I've never made it before, but it's butterscotch cake and it's just one layer and um, I thought why not go ahead and make it for the first day of summer. So I'm going to bring you all along with me and we'll make it together and we'll see how we like it at the end. So in this bowl, I have a stick of butter that's softened and I added one and one third cup of light brown sugar. And I'm going to take my electric mixer and mix it up until it's light and fluffy. Okay, the brown sugar has turned a lighter color. And I'm going to add two eggs, one at a time. Okay, I have two cups of all-purpose flour that I sifted and one cup of buttermilk. So I'm going to alternate these until we have a smooth batter. I'll start with a little flour. Okay, I have all the flour and the buttermilk incorporated. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, I have um, buttered my nine inch cake pan and put a piece of wax paper on top of that on the bottom and just dusted a light coating of flour and I'm going to put the batter in this cake pan and then I have the oven preheated at 350 and the cake will bake for 30 minutes then I will reduce the temperature to 325 and bake for another 15 to 20 minutes. And I can't wait to taste this. I love butterscotch. Now, I always give this a whack just to get the air bubbles out. And in the oven it goes. The cake is out and is cooled and I am preparing the icing. To this pot I have a half a cup of butter, one cup of brown sugar, and one third cup of cream. And I'm letting that uh, boil and simmer for a little while till it reaches a softball stage. And to test that softball you take a little bit of the icing and put it in a cup of cold water. And if you can pick that up and roll it between your fingers to make a ball, then that's the softball stage and it's ready. So it may take about 12 minutes according to the recipe. Okay, this has been simmering at a boil for 12 minutes, so I'm going to test it. I put a piece of ice in water in this little cup. Drop a piece in there. And I can roll that 
It's not a firm ball. Can you see? I can roll it between my fingers. I think it's almost done. I'll give it just another minute and try again. Trying again. Yep, I think that's ready this time. See how it's rolling in a ball? Take that off the heat. Now it says to use a wooden spoon and whip it until it loses its glossiness and starts to thicken. I'm not using a wooden spoon, but I have this high temperature plastic or rubber spatula. And here is our butterscotch cake. So after we eat supper tonight, we'll try a piece and let you know how it turned out. Well, Joe and I just finished supper and had a piece of cake, and we're going to give you what we thought about the cake. It's called a butterscotch buttermilk cake. And um, the cake turned out crumbly. And the um, icing, I think I overcooked it because it got a little hard, but it was chewy like a piece of caramel. And um, anyway, I'm going to show you the cake here, how crumbly. <laughs> <laughs> See how crumbly it is? And the icing, I got a piece right here that Joe didn't eat off the top of his. Here's a bit of crumb. <laughs> It's got some cake stuck to it, but it's it's got gotten a little hard. It's stretchy. It's kind of like a butterscotch taffy or something. <laughs> well, I'll take your word for it. But it's it's good. All that said, it's good. But I think maybe the weather had a lot to do with the way the cake turned out because it's been rainy today, and you're not supposed to make candy. And this is a fudge type icing so um, the weather may have something to do with it and it may have affected the cake too and the reason it turned out crumbly but we enjoyed it didn't we I thoroughly enjoyed it <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm wanting to put it up in a good place so that's for those to take care of it oh well we'll put a cake cover over it tonight and it will be somebody will partake of uh, it during the day tomorrow so we've got to find somebody to help eat it don't we well, if you do try real hard, I'm sure it'll come out in the wash. <laughs> Should I put a sign at that down at the road? Free cake? No. <laughs> All right. Well, um, the cake is what it is. It is what it is. And it's good. It was good. I enjoyed it. It's not overly sweet, and I don't like a real sweet cake, and I was afraid that the fudge type icing would be real sweet but it wasn't so um will i make it again i may try it again sometime it's not going to be my favorite cake by all means uh, what's your favorite cake chocolate <laughs> anything chocolate anything chocolate chocolate cake with chocolate icing yeah i remember i used to make those i know well, i was just trying to impress you with uh, my <laughs> baking skills. Joe had me over for dinner one night when we were dating. I can't remember what you cooked for dinner, though. I can't either. I wasn't uh, you know, like good. <laughs> but he made a chocolate cake with chocolate icing for dessert. It was good. It was good, yeah. So, um, our weather has been just really strange. Today's the first day of summer and it's not gotten out of the 60s today. And it's rained off and on all day long and very heavily overcast. But the haze is starting to clear up some. We've had several days of heavy haze from the fires in Canada. And we couldn't even see the Virginia mountain range. But look, up, can no. you see it now from where you're sitting? No. Look over this way. I'm looking that way. Well, I see it. You see a cloud. 
I think that's the mountain range. No, it's not the mountain range. <laughs> anyway, I think it is starting to clear out some. I hope so. But um, we hope you all have a good, blessed summer. And we're not complaining about the rain by any means because there's people even in our area, like the county next to us, that's been really, really dry. And uh, we drove through there Sunday, remember, when we were going to down 107 to Farmer's Daughter? Yeah. And the fields were just dry, dry. And um, someone had posted a uh, thing about it on Facebook from that area saying if they didn't get rain this week, that their garden's not going to make it. So I hope they got some of this rain, too, that we're getting. But anyway, and then there's people out in the Midwest where... Most of our food is grown that are having severe droughts. So we pray that the Lord will send you rain. And um, anything else you want to say? No, I'm just thankful that we had the opportunity to, uh, to uh, get some uh, different foods and uh, make it uh, better by taking it uh, to another person, person, or a dimension, or a, what? A dimension. Dimension. No, not dementia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I can't forget it. What forget you're trying that. To say. <laughs> forget that. We, we, we've come too far now. <laughs> okay, we love y'all, and we're all out of here. We'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah, here you. <yeah. laughs> This is Monday, June the 26th, and we had a thunderstorm very early this morning. I came out and pruned all the tomatoes and pulled up the weeds, and everything is looking great. I'm getting zucchini about two or three every day. And the yellow squash is just starting to um, produce, but I haven't picked any yet. This is my sucker bucket now. As I've got large suckers off the tomato, I just put them in this pot of dirt to root. And I do see I still have another gourd seed that has come up. There it is. So I need to get it out and transplant it. This is a Carolina Gold. I've not grown this variety before, but where I got my plants this year, they didn't have the German yellow or the pink. That's what I usually get. This starts the park whoppers, and there is one starting to turn, and I sure hope I can get it before a critter does. So on down the road, it, it goes. Got all the mess cleaned up. In these row, this one is an extra beef steak. And then I have two over there on that row. And these, that may be a beef steak too. I think it is. Two beef steaks here, one over there, and three Carolina Golds. So these are the Juliettes. And when I pruned them, look what I found. Oh boy. I'm going to let that one stay just a, another day. Another big Bertha bell pepper growing here. Lots of little ones in there. And the hot peppers are growing good. And the cucumbers. The initial gourds have really taken off.
we've got a table full of oregano that I've washed and now letting air dry here on this table. After it's dried good, I will de-stem it and put it in the oven on trays to dry it and then crush it and put it in old spice bottles. Crush it. Crush it. You like to crush it. Yeah. Crush and crush and crush. Orange crush. <laughs>